Battle in the northern part of the Rift Valley against cattle rustling and banditry has been a long and painful journey for the residents and a challenge for five administrations since Kenya got her independence in 1963. With each attempt at curbing the vice, successive governments have had wins and losses, with the cycle revolving with no end in sight. President William Ruto is now having the headache of dealing with a menace that in a previous life he claimed was allowed to thrive due to a move by his former boss to fight him politically. Leila Mohammed dissects his moves since his time as a deputy president and what lies ahead. The security or lack of it in the North Rift has been President William Ruto's scheme of things well before he assumed power. While campaigning in Turkana just before the 2022 general elections, a tough-talking President William Ruto called out the government he served in for letting the people of that region down on their basic human right to life and property. <laughs> Despite government efforts at sending out special teams in the area, officers have been caught in the line of fire as they battle an enemy well-equipped and one who sometimes has had a better understanding of the terrain they have traversed since childhood. Nimemwambia Professor Kindiki atoke ofisi Nairobi aende aishi kule North Rift the infiltration of illegal arms into the country via porous borders is a matter that the current commander-in-chief has stated will be a priority in his administration. Repression of illegal firearms in the wrong hands is part of the challenge we are facing with even the cattle rustlers, the terrorists and all these other criminal uh, operators. Mm -hmm. And that is why I say the CS, Professor Kindiki, his uh, peers, uh, Mr. Omolo, are properly guided on what we should do as government to rein in on these runaway cooks. Still, the guns haven't gone silent and the attacks have kept coming. The antagonists in the area have dared the security systems, even seeming to call the commander-in-chief and his cabinet secretary for interior in a bluff on managing the situation in that region. It is not if... It is when they will stop. They must. There are no two ways about it. When matters seemed to get out of hand, a much call for approach by the leadership there was granted by the president this year. Kwa sababu wale watu wamekua wajeuri. Wamekua na kiburi mingi. From tomorrow, we are moving into that area. And we will not leave that area until every illegal gun has been returned, until all children have gone to school, until we have stopped this menace. The current operation seeks to disarm the communities within 72 hours, a move tried and tested in the past with many owning more than one firearm and only letting go of what they don't need. Mambo ya wizi wa ngombe, mambo ya mawaji, ya wananchi kiholela na wakora, na watu wachache hiyo biashara itakoma na sio tafadhali itakoma in his quest to seek the highest office in the land the current commander in chief claimed that the killing of over 150 people in the Kerio Valley belt in the last 5 years would have been averted if only politics hadn't taken center stage in a battle of wits when we came into the handshake arrangement a false narrative very unfortunate false narrative was, was rolled out that oh, all these national police reserves in El Gayo Maraquet, in Baringo, in West Pokot, were actually a militia that William Ruta would use at some point. He claims that because of political reasons, the security situation in the North Rift suffered as government took the steps to withdraw arms from civilian police reservists, leaving the communities they protected exposed and vulnerable. The plan was, let's provide a national police reserve. Then, let us construct the roads. Then, let's provide water infrastructure. And then, let's provide school infrastructure. That way, you ease out people from that situation where they are today to a new environment. 
as he sends his troops on the ground in the latest push to deal with the criminal elements there. President Ruto has asked them to be guided by the oath they swore to serve and protect. Leila Mohamed, NTV.